All right, everybody, welcome back. And as advertised, we're going to be talking about the existence of God this week. Um, last week, we talked about faith and reason what, or two weeks ago, we talked about faith and reason, kind of what we can show, what truths we can show from um, faith and what truths we can show from reason. And, um, you know, in, in terms of reason, you know, we can't, we can't um, get a complete picture of God. We can't get a picture of his, all of his characteristics. But we, what we can get a picture of is that, you know, he is there. And, you know, a, an example I'd like to, you know, discuss is, like, you, you have a detective who comes onto a crime scene, and he discovers that it's a murder scene, but he doesn't know who the murderer was or why there was a murderer in the first place, but he knows that the murderer exists. Well, with reason, we can kind of deduce some of that, too, about God, but it takes faith in divine revelation to kind of get that complete picture. Um, and so based on that, there's different types of arguments for the existence of God, and, um, you know, they, they aren't mutually exclusive. 